All right, so a quick video here on this. This is sort of a DIY um, budget project. So here is a APC a UPS battery backup. This one happens to be the ES750. Uh, you can pick up these used and in some cases at the junkyard for free for pretty cheap. I bought this off Craigslist for five bucks. Had a dead uh, lead acid battery in there. And of course you can use your lithium iron phosphate batteries to act as the battery backup source. I'm using the 20 amp hour uh, version here uh, from Golden Mate. This is the 256 watt hour battery. I did a video on this one already. Uh, I also did a video on the 100 amp hour battery as well as their uh, UPS. Um, uh, that was like the white one. I think that was the last video I made from Golden Mate. And someone pointed out in that video that I should talk about this. This is a sort of very basic budget setup. Uh, you don't have to spend, I think it was like 200 bucks for the Golden Mate UPS. You can, I think this battery here is like 80 or $90 now. Um, there is a battery that actually fits this. It's from Golden Mate. It's a seven amp hour. And last I saw it was about $30. And the replacement lead acid batteries are about twenty to twenty-five dollars. But you all, you all know that uh, these lithium iron phosphate batteries will last ten years easy. And uh, if you're wondering if it's safe, yes, it is. Basically, these mimic the same voltage range as a lead acid battery. So this will utilize the power off of that battery and charge it no problem. I'm just doing a little test here. Just. Just um, keeping track of the voltage. This charges up pretty slow. Uh, I think that's just a few amps, so it's not gonna uh, harm this battery in any way. Plus this, these these uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries have BMSs that have um, overcurrent and over voltage protection anyway. But the reason I wanted to point this out is that yeah, you can get the uh, seven amp hour battery and stick it inside, but I would rather have a little bit more runtime so the seven amp hour battery is about 90 watt hours and this particular model uh, can output about i think 350 or 400 watts max so obviously if you get the bigger backups uh, the bigger models like the 1000 1500 or 2500 they're going to have um, more power capability so they can um, they'll have more a bigger, bigger inverter in there i guess so they can handle more wattage so for me, like I just have a few devices, just my desktop PC. Typically, under most typical loads, it's going to draw under 200 watts. And on uh, the battery that fits inside here, it's uh, going to last me maybe an hour to an hour and a half. Obviously, there's going to be some losses because you know you have a DC to AC converter going on inside here. And so with this 256 watt hour version so yeah sorry i misspoke so with the tour watts of um uh draw or load on a on a 90 amp hour battery it's only like 20 to 30 minutes of runtime so i wanted more runtime so i went with this uh 256 watt hour uh, battery and that's going to give me about an hour maybe a little bit more at about 200 watts that's why i so i went with this setup and all i did was i just uh connected up an xt60 connector to the main connector that's inside here and I think those are like F2 or F1 terminals for like the standard battery that goes in here, the lead acid battery. I just soldered, I just directly soldered on uh, this XT60 right on there. And this, uh, uh, these batteries use like these standard um, terminal nuts. I think it's like a 12 gauge wire or something like that. And with an XT60 connector. But so if you're wondering, yeah, it's pretty pretty simple to, to do this. And I just drilled a hole here in the cover so this can come out really really simple and if you want to even go with a bigger battery so if you don't want the 20 amp hour or you want to go with the 50 amp hour 100 amp hour then we have a power outage which these days we're having lots of you're going to have a lot more runtime so uh, whether it's your computer or a refrigerator or something you, you know something important that you need to have running while your power outage or blackout is occurring maybe you want to go with a bigger battery you know, you don't, you know, maybe your devices only draw 200 or 300 watts. So you can go with a cheaper one of these, pick up one of these for free, you know, five, 10 bucks, and then go with one of these uh, larger batteries. 
you know, I may, I may uh, you know, stick the 100 amp hour battery in this one instead, so I could, I guess that would be like 1200 watt hours. That would be like six, seven hours of runtime on a 200 watt. So, you know, depending on how long your blackouts are, the more battery you get, the longer you can run, and you don't really need to get a giant, uh, you know, giant APC. Now, of course, APC says this is not supported because they want you to buy their lead acid batteries, and if you have one of these under warranty, then of course that voids your warranty, etc. And of course, you know, the standard disclaimer and cautions go along with this one. Please only do this if you are, if you know what you're doing, you know about electricity, because there's some very high voltage stuff going on inside here. You can hurt yourself, injure yourself, perhaps even kill yourself if you're not, if you aren't careful. So uh, be careful about this. It's relatively easy to do, but obviously I won't stick to it only if you know what you're doing. But I just want to point out that, yes, one of my viewers pointed this out to me, that I should share this, and yes, it's a valid point. This is a much cheaper way to go. And uh, I was, I did have that, um, the, the white golden made UPS on my computer. And I was like, well, it's kind of overkill for any, and I'm gonna put that on something else. And I decided to get this instead. And uh, this battery, I think it's like 70 or $80. So that's a little bit, it's like half the cost, less than half the cost of what, it, what, I, was, what I had on there before. So thought it'd be worth sharing this. Very, very easy to do. I'll, I'll list in the description these parts. Um, pretty simple stuff you can pick up on Amazon. There's like 10 bucks for the cable and uh, XC60 connectors. They usually sell them like for a buck each, but they I think you can buy 10 of them. So anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. That'll do for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.